Welcome back. I'm Tracy Sable. You know, it's not something you would ever expect to see along Pushaw Lake in Orono, a German battleship cruising the lake. But that's what our Steve Minnick found. Steve joins us now with a story. Steve. Well, Tracy, as far-fetched as it sounds, it's sort of true. A man from Levant has built from scratch a 30-foot replica of the German battleship Graf Spree. But unlike its namesake, which the British blew up during World War II 69 years ago, this one is still sailing. When Bill Terra launches his toy, as he calls it, he certainly draws a crowd. It's a famous ship. It's in the top ten of the most famous ships in the world. The Germans first launched the Graf Spree in 1933. It was 1995, using plans from a tiny plastic model kit, Terra began building this replica two-seater complete with intricate details on deck, including crew members. But even 18 years later, it continues to be a work in progress. Detail work can really be consuming, but the winters are long in Maine, and <laughs> you gotta keep yourself busy. Still, as much as Terra loves to brag about his battleship, he'd rather get behind the wheel. With battle hymns blaring, he proudly prowls Pushaw Lake. It's a piece of history, he says, albeit scaled down. It's a one of a kind. People go ballistic. You know, kids jump up and down, women clap hands, guys give me the thumb up. It's, 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 it's fun. Tara admits he catches a little grief sometimes over the fact he's immortalized a famous German warship. But he is quick to point out when the British sank it, it marked a major milestone in the Allies' efforts. It was the first German ship sunk in World War II. When it went down, it was only six years old. Well, it's safe to say Tara is right when he says it is one of a kind. Fun to write in, too, Tracy. <laughs> All right, Steve, that is so neat.